and Mark, you know, I'm watching a pretty uh, interesting tropical system in the Arabian Sea on the other side of the world that may very well make landfall in Pakistan or India in the next couple of days. Let's have a look at it. It's a tropical storm strength system right out in here and uh, it is likely to move, I think, north and then northeast. But right now it is allegedly a 65 mile per hour system and on its way, we think, in this direction, kind of like that. And maybe even strengthening to a hurricane by, say, even tomorrow. How about that? Monday evening. So we'll watch this. It could be an international story. Uh, those areas are not so well suited to handle tropical cyclone impacts, so we'll obviously have a close feed on that. Let's have uh, a look elsewhere in the tropics as well. We've talked a lot about post-now tropical cyclone Ana. This is the one that's going to bring some wind and rain, extra wind and rain, I should say, from a system that's already going to coming into the northwest. But I want to take the time a little bit to now look at Invest 94L. This is in the Western Caribbean Sea right now. And um, this area is going to sort of uh, hang out, it's sort of steady state for the next few days. It's not going to do much with a low probability of development, only at 20%, because there are some factors here that are working against development, strong winds aloft among one of those factors. But uh, it's going to be hanging out in the same area for days to come. And for that reason, perhaps in the next few days, the winds aloft will weaken a little bit and allow some of these thunderstorms to get a little bit better organized. It's going to take a while because, you know, if you look on this picture, you can actually see see some clouds kind of moving southward like that off the uh, Gulf of Mexico into the Caribbean. That's some fall-like air for them that is moving into the region and that tends to really dramatically reduce the odds of tropical development and so that's why we're not going to see anything certainly in the, in the next day or two. But perhaps the air mass will recover a little bit and we'll maybe see some development down there uh, along or near this dying out front that's down that way. Again, the odds are small, but we'll keep an eye on it. And if it were to do anything, it would probably sort of work its way toward the west near Honduras and maybe get to parts of other parts of Central America, Belize in particular. That would be by the middle of this week. Now here's our final advisory in the Pacific of post-tropical cyclone Ana. I'll talk more about this coming up at 20 past, let's see, 1 o'clock. Stay tuned for that because that may impact the Pacific Northwest. Guys, back to you. Mm -hmm.